If the caniemion um, If they can hear me on on YouTube, they should let me know. So if you can hear me on YouTube, you can you can you can please quickly check YouTube for me and see if um you know these guys can hear me there. Good evening. Is YouTube working loud and clear? Anybody, let me let me send the link here. I've sent the link to okay. oh. oh okay, I can see um Victor. Victor Adeloko. Hi, right, good evening. Let's 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 leave like um two or three minutes. Let's have um, other guys joining. So let's see. So today we're gonna to be very precise, right? We're gonna be very precise with what we'll be learning and um let me just let me just say that this was not supposed to be a public class, but I understand the fact that um, the the need for education, so crypto education, how important it is beyond making money, because that's how you survive times like this, right? We have a lot of people that have been able to put their heads above the water in these kind of times, and um, they, they've they've been they've not been as affected mentally as everybody has been affected, so how to trade right so different kind of traders right how to use the chat how to how to um how to um, um how to read chat how to um interpret the chat so they tell you impute this impute this what do you do so the focus of today's class is also to be discussing entry points we'll be discussing entry points then we we'll also be discussing invalidation point so invalidation point is when you have when you have um, your entry point and you've predicted that the market will go in this direction between this time and this time now something happens let's say fud or let's say there's a news and the market begins to go against your prediction what do you do so what do you see that that you categorize as invalidation so before you take any trade before you take any trade a couple of things that you want to, you know, have ticked. One, you want to know your entry point. As you're knowing your entry point, you want to know your exit point. As you're knowing your exit point, you want to know your invalidation point. As you're knowing your invalidation point, you want to know your take profit and your stop loss. And that's all there is to a trade. So before you get into a trade, you should have all of that. And say, I want to get out of the trade at this position in profit. I want to get out of this trade at this position in loss. Or when I begin to see this kind of signs in this trade, I know that, you know, I don't push this trade again. I get out of the trade, right? Because you are not, you are not Superman. You are not Batman. Your goal is not to save the market, right? You are not in the market to be right. And you need to understand that as much as you play in this market, you would most likely most of the time be wrong. There will be times where you'll be wrong. It's not a crime to be wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't limit your technical skills. It just... It just, it, just, it just helps you to understand that, you know, being wrong is part of the game and you would lose money too. But then you want to make more profit than you actually lose money. And that's the goal of this class, right? So um, just not to put us through um, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, what's the name? A lot of um, stories hitting straight to the point. We'll be looking at a couple of charts. So I told them, um, I told my guys, I told the, the, the gang in the VIP um, channel, do you have them um, peers you're looking at? So we can use that as insight for today's class. So shoot me your peers in the comment section. I mean, um, in the um, on, on the on, on, on the Google Meet, right? So shoot me your peer, your the peers you're looking at. Then let's use that, you know, as a potential cause for this market, right? So let's let let let's let's let's, let's do you know live trading. Let's enter the market live. Let's check invalidation point and let's do so. Like I would always say. When people ask me, oh, AY, do you run a signals group? I do not run a signals group, right? And I keep, I, I like giving that disclaimer from the beginning. And these are the reasons why I like saying I do not run. Even though on the VIP channel, we give signals, it is not called a signal group. The goal of, the goal of having a VIP channel is not, the goal of having a, a VIP channel is not to, 
you know, give people meat all the time or give people fish all the time. So even when you call some place and they ask you, hey, um, AY, what, 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 what is your thought process behind this play? Why, why do you choose this? Why are you entering now? That's what we want to do today. So the goal is to teach you how to fish. The goal is not to give you fish. The goal is for you to look at a chart and say, I will enter this chart. You have to kill fear. Once you can be able to tick your boxes, the way I enter a chart is what I want to teach you today, right? Once you can tick your, tick your boxes, you see a chart, you see the conference. Conference means you have about you have about three factors giving you a go ahead and you enter the chart put your stop loss put your take profit and you get off then you always take profit once you can do that you want to build your trading confidence you don't want to you want i, I, I want i want to be able to grow you know this community to the extent that you don't depend on what anybody is giving you you know how to call your own place you know how to make research on your own you know how to enter the market on your own you can only seek extra advice and say what do you think about this what do you think about this so even when you want to trade, you know, you know how to take your trades by yourself. So that's the goal, teaching you how to do these things by yourself, not, you know, saying um, um, we, are, we, we run the signals because you should be able. You know, this is a long-term thing. For me, it is. I don't know. I don't know if it is for you, but for me, it is. Five years from now, I'll still be talking about crypto. Ten years, 20 years, right? You know, crypto has liberated me, and, you know, I can tell you that the, the, the game of patience is, you know, it's a game worth playing in this space. I, I, I hate when people, you know, blackmail holders. Like, you have higher chances of winning in this space holding than trading. This is just the truth, right? But trading helps you to, you know, scalp the market, understand the market, make quick profit. But long-term winning, you have higher chances of winning, holding, than trading, than jumping out and jumping in. Right, so that's it. As, I, as an individual, I would rather hold on to my bags for three years than sell at a loss. And that's fact only. Right. So let's go to the chat. Right. So do you have any do you have any sharp questions for me on the VIP channel? Let me quickly attend to them, maybe from what has happened in the market today and all. Just shoot me sharp questions. By the way, I'll be disconnecting this live stream by um by 820 or 825. I'll be disconnecting the live stream because this class is purposely, purposely, purposely only for the VIP channel, right? So but let's let's have a general you know consensus on up until let's let's learn together up until 8 20 something 8 30 then we can you know bid you guys and goodbye right so now do you have quick questions for me i can see xrp usd i'm also looking at matic i'm looking at um sushi so look at that i would you know give explanation of fibonacci and all so yeah any questions any quick questions for me okay let me confirm from the telegram channel that all these, um... Okay, so now let's go to the charts, right? I have, I, have, I have sent content on how to view the chart. Now let me blank out a couple of things so it doesn't clog out. There are just very few things I want to show us here. So let me just... Um... Uh, okay, I don't want to delete this pain. Okay, let me let me delete this for now. I'll I'll withdraw it. Let me delete this and let me zoom out. Right. So, can you still see my can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Okay, great. All right, solid. Now, guys, as beginners, as beginner traders, right? So what you want to know how to do is you want to know how to identify support number one, support and resistance. If I would always, I, I gave you um, a Bible, a candlestick Bible. I hope you've gone through those, you know, that, uh, that Bible. Your, your candlestick Bible is for your price action, right? And that price action is to help you know when to get into the market. So once you've seen your confluence and you've seen that at this point is a good place to enter, what do I see that allows me to enter? So I'm going to use Matic as an example, right? Now, as a trader, the focus of this class today is to re-emphasize the need for mastering support and resistance level one. Secondly, teach you how to use Fibonacci um, retracement two. 
Thirdly, teach you how to identify um, invalidation point. Three. Then the fourth one, show you how to get into take profit and stop loss using demand and supply zone. Right. So that will be the focus of this class. Now, when you are looking, you want to you want you want to map out as many you know support and resistance as possible. When you look at the chart, you zoom out so you see the clean picture, right? I've zoomed out on Matic and I can see that we can see very visible lines of um, support. Support is the lower line. The upper line is resistance, right? I can also draw another line here because I can see that it has created another support here, another resistance here. So the moment it creates another resistance, what used to be the resistance will now become the support. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So this was the support. This is the resistance. Now, when the market got to the resistance and it broke through, it created another resistance. The moment it's created another resistance, what used to be the resistance to become the support? So it has become the former resistance, right? Because we have a new resistance. So this new resistance would, in the long run, become a new support, given the fact that it will create another resistance up here. Now, that is, you know, how the market is. So the market would always go up, come down, go up, regardless of whether we are in the bull run or we are in the whether we are in the bull season or we are in the bear season. The market, the market will run up, it will run down, run up, run down. Now, all of those movements in the market, you can take advantage of it. Now, how do you take advantage of it? You trade the range. You trade the range. Now, this is the range. You can see the distance between a support and a resistance is called a range. The new resi the, the, the resistance has now become a support that has created a new resistance. We have another range. If we have a new resistance up here, it will create another range. Now, you can trade the range. During the time whereby we have the sharp drop, now somebody would have taken advantage of this. Somebody can still take advantage of this. There are potential entry points we're looking at for this week. I'm going to give some calls, right, on the VIP channel, and I expect us this week to take trades by ourselves. You can, you know, get confirmations from AY and say, guy, what do you think about this? Do you think I should I should um, enter this now or this thing? You know, we can, you know, give you those confirmations. But I really like for you to put, you know, into practice the things we are learning here today and say, oh, okay, let me even, you know, take some of this trade myself. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to, oh, my RSI is not much showing. Okay, great. Oh, okay, great. Now, you trade the range, right? So how do you trade the range? You take advantage of all of these places, all of these positions. Now, there, there, there are things we call confluence. Confluence means you have seen point one that says enter. Point two says enter. Point three says enter. Last week, I taught you how to use RSI and MACD. You can use that as level two confluence. Your level one confluence should be support and resistance. So let's say you're watching the chart. You zoomed out. You've mapped your support and resistance. This is Matic USDT. And um, let's look at a, a particular trade. Wait. Uh, I thought... Um, we had Olumide on the channel before. How many Olumide do we have here? There's another Olumide that just joined now. There's one gangster, one gangster Olumide that used to use um, times 50, times 50 leverage. Is it the one that was been here before, the one that just joined? You just joined? Oh, okay. You, I mean, Olumide now from day one now, day one Olumide now. The <laughs> bad guy, you. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while, a while we saw your break line. All right, so let's use Matic QS as an example. Now, this is a support, right? I'm going, to, I'm going to teach you how to use Fibonacci to know your entry point. Now, how do you enter, you know, the market? What gives you supporting confluence? Now, I'm going to show you three confluence. So, a professional trader does not jump into the market. A professional trader lays ambush for the market. You wait for the market. If you remember on the channel, I told you to mark out 
some um um I, I told you to take to take some um alert to set some alert because we're looking at some you know some so a, a, a we're looking at a junction at which you want to enter the market right so that's what you do you have a strategy you wait for the market you have seen what you're looking for just allow the market to get there it gives you the first evidence second evidence you, you, you enter once you enter you set your stop loss if it goes against your trade fine you go at a loss fine you take another trade you enter again consistency you know, gives you the edge in the long run now if i am to enter i, I enter this trade we, we gave this call when this this call we gave this call on the channel we took profit all of from all of these fleets up to here on the channel that was um sometimes um last last week we gave this call because i can remember you know laying ambush for this now look at the original this is this is the original um support right you can see that when the market was coming down a professional trader is already looking at trading that range and say now i am going to i'm going to you know look for how to enter this market i want to enter the market based on different evidence right now the first evidence is it has reached support on support it once it breaks the support line what data you should always wait for wait for a retest a retest means it will break and it will pay respect pay respect means it will come out of the line go back to kiss the line right and that's why you know if you are entering or not now you will not say because it has broken this line you now enter here immediately if you enter here immediately you will lose all of this advantage here all of this place here you will lose here at a loss so once it breaks the support line you wait for a retest the retest it breaks through the sub it, it breaks again it gives another entry into the support line then you begin to look for how to enter that's when you begin to spot your entry point now now that it has entered that line again what you are looking for is confluence you're looking for confluence two ways you can use confluence you can use your fibonacci retracement as confluence you can use um you can use your rsi and your macd now if you're using your macd at this point you want to see a cross now this is perfect now this was why you can see that here you can see that the um the um the moving average line has given the um the overcomers cross it has crossed that red line now you see this is indicating you know a bullish um a bullish um, reversal right that we're going to eat an uptrend i i have warned us that we should not trade indicators alone indicators are supporting evidences they are not key evidences now macd has given a shoot in your rsi has become oversold now popularly they've been a wrong motive on how to use rsi a lot of people just use rsi they say um, rsi is when you hit this line it's oversold when it gets here you, you you buy when you get here you sell no the concept of rsi rsi means relative strength index Call what rsi is an indicator a supporting indicator for reversal so even if you are hitting a downtrend and you are hitting this line you have the possibility of a reversal because you can be on the downtrend or on uptrend and still have low rsi it happens it happens in the trade right so if you use um, rsi as a single line of evidence to make a trade you make mistakes now macd has given us a supporting evidence rsi has given us a supporting evidence great you are in the support range volume you can see volume expansion now what do you mean what do you mean by volume expansion you can see that the buyers are coming in the sellers are losing power you see more buyers you see more green candles now you see the movement of the green of the green bars the movement of the green bars is um is um it is growing you can see an expansion now this is volume expansion most times when you tell me uh hey why look at this trade for me and blah 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 i will tell you ah volume does not support it because volume is a very powerful indicator for a strong you know a strong trend movement a strong trend movement volume is a very powerful indicator so if volume does not support most of the time it might not be a sustained bull run or bear run right so now that's what you see we have hit four conferences we are in the support zone we have seen a breakout rsi is giving a go ahead macd is giving a go, go ahead and there is volume expansion at this point you now want to say when do i enter if you are saying when do you enter you are saying when do i make my stop loss right now let me just say it if you got in late on the call on the vip channel don't worry i have this recorded i'm going to upload it 
in our um, Google Drive. I'll send a link back to the channel. You can always watch over and over again. The one from last week, the full you know, class, the full session, I uploaded it on the Google um, link. Please go through it. These are valuable classes. See, let me, let me assure you. Let me assure you. If you pay attention to these things you are learning, and you go through them over and over again, and you keep testing them, I give you four modes. You become you 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 will be confident of your trades. You will take ten trades and be confident that eight of these trades would, would hit a goal. You would not need you would not even need um, signals. You will not be able to give you calls. You go to a trade. You look for what you are looking for. You have been taught how to get your confidence. You get your confidence. Three or four confidence. Drop into the trade. Plan. I'm a sniper. A sniper enters and gets out. I don't wait for if I'm if I'm doing trading. The crypto market is highly volatile. What you thought was a bull run, let me speak your about Ole Jimo, you just become you know a bear run. <laughs> you just say ah, 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 before you know you're like ah, you're running your losses. So that's why I'm always sniping. You get in, get out. You get in, get out. You get in, use your leverage, the same profit you got in, fifty percent, seventy percent profit. Get out of the market. If it's still showing signals of re-entry, enter again. Get in, out. Get in, get out. Take profit. Do like four times like that in a week. You scan. You are okay. You know, look for one joint, take pepper soup, and you know, renew your this thing. Take profit, you know. And that 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 that, that, that that's the game. There's no there's no there's no deeper secret to it. I'm giving the the fishing principle how to how to fish. Now we've taken we've taken note of the conferences, right? And we've seen you know possible entry points. So how do we enter? That's where you need your candlestick bible. Your candlestick bible shows you. It teaches you the morphology of the um, of you know, candlesticks and what candlesticks represent, right? If you are on the um, VIP channel and you've not gone through that candlestick Bible at least three times, then you are doing yourself a huge disservice. That is a very, very resourceful material. You won't, you won't just find it anywhere, right? You won't find it anywhere. So go through it over and over again. Now, how do you enter? Look at the morphology. Look at when it broke out. Let me, let me zoom out. I love candlesticks. I love price actions. This week is going to be a very busy week for me, so it's possible that some of the plays you are going to call today, I would bank on us to you know to take what I'm going to teach you today to enter trades, right? Um, I'm going to be away from my system because I'm going for a seminar, right? It's going to be you know a couple of seminars, a couple of day seminars, so and that's why I've not been very active on the channel, you know, dropping trades and all. So it might extend to this week. So I want you to to bring calls. If you, if you send calls to the to the channel, what you're looking at, I can quickly check it and say. Set price, set alert for here, enter here, get out here, put your stop loss here. You can quickly check that. We can do that. That will be the arrangement this week, right? Um, we might not get very steady calls because for a while I, would, I might be with my system, right? So now, if you look at this, this broke through the support. Now, when it broke through the support, you're looking for a retest. A retest means it's paying respect. Now, it has given a retest. Now, you see that, you see this red bar. This is where the, the sellers had, you know, empower last. And you see a long week. This long week showed that the sellers pushed the price down, but then they were not able to sustain that pressure before the buyers, you know, took over. Even though we don't have a bullish, you know, a bullish engulfing candle, you know what a bullish engulfing candle is. We don't have it here because the red is still, you know, um, bigger than this green candle. It is still telling you that don't enter yet, right? You watch it. Now you see that there's a breakout. In fact. At this point, you see this breakout, you see this green and that breakout. Now, this can be a potential entry point. There are two ways to enter the market here. This is what we call aggressive entry. If you enter at the close of this candle, what you've just executed is aggressive entry. A careful entry would be you are waiting for the second candle to close. If the second candle closes above it, then that is careful entry. Right, so aggressive entry means you are entering here. You take a long position. Okay, let me let me expand the pain. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, great. So aggressive entry means you take a long position where the candle closed, right? Now, I told you that before you enter your trade, know four things. Know your entry point. Know your stop loss. 
know your take profit and know your invalidation point. So invalidation point means what do you see in the market that makes you know that ah, um, this market has gone against my prediction that makes you jump out of the market. You don't save the market. If the market goes against your prediction, get out of the market, even if it's in a loss. Now, how do you put your, 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 your stop loss? There are two ways you can put your stop loss. You can put your stop loss around. That's, this is a careful way. A careful way is for you to indicate the previous supply zone. That is where you saw the rejection. This, um, this week reject, rejection. Because you know that if the buyers took over here, right, it will, it's going to be very, it will take a while before the sellers can take power to hit this point again. So you can put your stop loss here, right? This carefully, aggressively, you can put your stop loss at the close of the last, you know, seller power, which is this odd red candle. More aggressively, you can put your stop loss, you know, at the close of the previous candle. I really do this. I really do this. Right, because most times you can see a sharp drop in the market, and you take you out of out of the market on a loss, even though you're supposed to get profit. Now you've known where to put your stop loss. Where do you put your take profit? Preferably, you put your take profit at the next, at the next, um, at the next, you know, resistance. Right now, you see that from year to year, you take advantage of all of these gains, all of these gains, and. It can go against your listing, but you make profit and you take, you take a profit, right? Now, what is invalidation point? Invalidation point is, what do you see that makes you know that, ah, this trade is no more going? So, immediately you are seeing this, once you see seller pressure breaks again, right? Maybe you see a break in market structure. Sellers, you know, take power. Then the next candlestick, seller take power again. Sellers take power on the third candlestick. It can be safe for you to get out of the market, at that point, if you've got a small profit, take that profit away and watch the market again, because it can be that institutions have gotten in, they want to hold your stop loss and take, you know, a retail traders out of the market on a loss before they push it back up. So you want to save yourself. So once you watch the market and see that sellers are taking power the first time, second time, third time, con con um, consequent, you know, candlesticks and sellers have consistently applied pressure. If you've been on profit and you see that, you might want to jump out of the market. Like, now look at something like this. Look at this. You see sellers here, sellers here. So if you see this continuously, and you've taken power up to here, you just take a, get out of the market like at this point, at profit, then watch the market. If you watch the market up to this point, and you see the buyers taking power again, even though it is near the, um, the, 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 um, the, the, the resistance line, you might enter here and take profit up to this point. When you take power up to this point, you get out of the market and you wait again. To monitor what the market is doing, if it breaks out and it retests, because it's supposed to retest. Now you see this breakout. You see it broke out. You see it retested. The moment it breaks out, it, it breaks out and it retested to enter again. Always monitor the market. You see what I told you about when sellers take power. These are invalidation points. You see that it was going up. Then at this green candle, great. This is a great example for invalidation point. At this green candle, you see that the red candle, ah, sellers are taking power. They're taking power. They're taking power. What is happening? At this point, you might you should take profit and get out of the market. Just watch the market. Don't save the market. Because if you did not take profit here, you see this, you're going to lose up to this point. And you think that you're not a good trader. But you should know your invalidation point. You see? You see that, you see, you see that loss up to this point. Now, you see a bullish engulfing candle. This bullish engulfing candle has shown, has shown you that there may be a change, right? But you want to watch for confirmation. Confirmation is a breakout and a retest. You see, it broke out. It has not retested. It broke out. It has not retested. It still kept going down. You wait for it. You wait for it again. For it to retest, right? So you keep doing that, and you wait. You don't. You don't save the market. If you follow these rules, you would make the same profit, and then um, minimize your losses, right? So now that is how to enter the market in validation point and all, right? So are you still with me? Let me confirm I'm not even talking to myself. Are you still with me? Oh, great. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Can you see me loud and clear? Oh, okay. All, all right, so. How do you identify support lines? Somebody's asking. See that that is that's why I did a video. You've not you've not seen that video. 
if you've not seen the previous video we did on technical analysis the first two videos you would go and see that video first before you ask those questions you know those videos are important people here already understand how to so i support line i've already mapped out what support line is i've done explanation on that in those videos go and see those videos it's going to it's going to forfeit the the the, the motive of this class if you've not seen those videos right so so um gang, gang, gang stars, you can still implement what i have just taught you here so you can watch this watch this use this as your potential trade for this week watch matic i'm not giving you this call try this by yourself check what you're looking for is you're looking for a breakout a breakout a retest or retest pam enter where you put your stop loss either at the close of this red candle or here either at this point where you put your take profit somewhere around here either at this this resistance or this other resistance you see profit always take profit bam look for invalidation once you start invalidation get out of the market don't save the market now that's that i'm going to teach you how to use fibonacci retracement now now there is something we call swing eye and swing glue so when you want to use fibonacci re retracement i'm going to explain the concept of fibonacci retracement it's a mathematical you know um let me let me close out this let me clean this let me close this out oh. um okay let me see if I can still. I'm a woman that I don't. <clears throat> okay, great. Now, this is how to use a Fibonacci retracement. Now, Fibonacci retracement is a mathematical tool and um, it works everywhere. Now, there, I'm going to explain things very pay your attention you can use the fibonacci retracement for the concept of even living things if you look at your body if you measure your hand if you measure your hand your arm you measure the length of your arm and you divide it by the width of your arm it will give you either two values and that's what we use in, in fibonacci retracement if you measure anything anything in this world if you take any plant measure any leaf take the take the length measure the full length Divided by the breadth, it will give you either two values. Look at your feet. Measure the length of your feet. Divided by the breadth, it will give you either two values. Those two values are the, are the most powerful retracement values in Fibonacci retracement. Now, you can find Fibonacci retracement, you know, here, under, um, under, um, uh, where is it? Under, not patterns. Under prediction and measurement, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can find it under this um, pitchfork, right? So you see a Fibonacci adjustment and you listen. So now, how do you use a Fibonacci adjustment? You use your swing glue, you from, from a swing glue, from a swing eye to a swing glue. A swing glue means, a swing eye means where you add the highest position, then you move it to where you had the lowest position. You, 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 you identify those two lines, right? The highest position, then you drop it where you have the lowest position. Now, if you check very carefully, you will see different numbers. You will see 0 0.3, 0 0.82, 0 0.6. So the two, the two powerful numbers I was telling you about, the two most powerful numbers, you see the 0 0.38, 0 0.382 and the 0.618 are very powerful retracement numbers. If you divide anything, if you take your arm, you take the length of your arm and you divide it by the width of your arm, it will give you either 0 0.382 or 0.618. Now, how do you use it? Right? How do you use it? So at this point, we would want to thank um, our guys on the live stream for joining us. Right? Thank you for 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 spending time with us. We like to 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 to, to say you can come back to this over and over again. This is a good you know precursor for you to take your learnings forward. Take your learnings forward. Spend time on YouTube. Do a lot of stuff. But then. This class has to continue with the gang. We have to kick you off <laughs> out now, right? So, thank you guys for for joining. Thank you for 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 you know for for being on the channel and for being you know supportive and all. Yeah, the goal is for us to all win. The goal is for us to all make profit in the end, and I see that happening. Five years from now, many of us would have our financial situations changed for good, and we have you know crypto to thank for it. So, all of these are not financial advice, but I can guarantee you that crypto has helped me. And the strategy that I have used to 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 
to upscale my balance has been working. And if you put all of this thing to work, you would not need to listen to anybody. You won't need to listen to any crypto influencer. You won't need to listen to anybody on Twitter or anywhere, right? So, and with consistency, it will always pay off, right? So, thank you guys for joining, and um, that'll be all on the YouTube stream. So, we'll continue um, with the game, yeah.